Hey everybody, I'm nobody else's auto. Let's check out some more cool new inventory tonight. I've been buying a lot of cool cars and trucks. This old Monty came in a few months back. I'm just so far behind getting videos done. We had to get it squeezed in and get it shared with you. So this old car is a little rough. It does run and drive. The guy that I bought it from said he had overhauled the engine a few years back, but he thought it had blown a head gasket. So it does run and drive, but I don't think you're going to drive it very far. Inside of this old Monte Carlo, pretty much there, just worn. We can see the seats pretty much worn out. The radio area of the dash has been cut out and had aftermarket gauges added to it. Dash cluster is still intact, steering column and everything is all still there. Back seat is still in it. So, other than showing some age, inside mostly intact. Let's go ahead and pop the hood while we're here. Uh, so we can work around the front, we can take a look under there. But this car, being a 79, it is a Landau. A lot of really tough to find 78, 79 era Monte Carlo pieces still left on this particular Monte Carlo. It's got a few bad spots in the frame. And it's got a few bad spots in the roof, so probably not a good candidate to restore, but a lot of those really hard to find 78, 79 pieces still on this car, just like the nose of this. We see the grills broke, but it does still have the lights, the bezels, a lot of these hard to find pieces for this era of Monte Carlo here. Under the hood, obviously we've seen her drive up here, and it has been modified and changed some under here, but it is intact, it obviously does run but uh, like I said, I was told it had some engine problems. I haven't driven it much to really find that out for sure, but it does run and drive, that's about all I know. Everything on the firewall, all still intact, and a little small block Chevy V8 in the, in, under the hood for power. We kind of work our way around this side of the car. We see this fender is banged up a little bit, but it does have a lot of this trim on it, the roof line trim, the Landau trim, the back window trim is there. We come around the back and the back of it's still intact there. Again, the bumper does show some wear. And the trunk ornament is gone, but it doesn't really look like they tore up the trunk lid when they did it. So we can even still see the remnants of the original selling dealer in Hayes, Kansas, still on the back of this old Monte Carlo. Another interesting thing that did come with the car were these chrome cutlass wheels. There was a full set of those that came with the car as well. So even though they're cutlass wheels, it's still, they're still cool wheels with the chrome ones. And I did get, I think there's two on the car and a full set, an extra set of four came with it as well. So even though this old Monty's a little rough around the edges and with some bad spots in the frame, probably not a good candidate to restore. But with this being a 79 and having that 78 era, 79 era parts on it, a lot of good stuff on this old car. So, hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. If there's anything you need, anything you're interested in off the old Monty or any of the other 2,000 cars and trucks we've got here at Nobody Else's Auto, just give me a shout, 620-786-4428. That number is in the description part of this video. So we can have a short conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, things you need, things like that. I need all that information to know if I might be able to help you out with your project. If you like what we're doing on here, you like old cars, you like old trucks, you like memorabilia, you can see sitting around here, we've got a whole lot of them. So be sure to click that subscribe button and definitely click that notification button because we do a lot of cool live stuff on here that you won't want to miss, so you'll want to jump on for that stuff as well. So there's the old Monty. Like I said, a little tough around the edges, a little bit of wear to it, but it's kind of crazy to think that this car is almost 45 years old now at this point. And still having these cars for around for pieces is so important because a lot of the 78, 79 stuff is specific to these cars. So always glad to add something like this to inventory. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Like I said, I've been behind a lot of cars and trucks, getting way behind on getting your videos out on them. So stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the old Monty. Stay tuned for the new, more new inventory coming soon.